Welcome to another Arch Crew Reaction video. I'm Shorty P. And I'm Duke. Today we're going to be reacting to Hell's Reach Part 8. A Warhammer 40k love story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just seek from Maldus. <laughs> yeah, Grant Maldus. <laughs> Princeps, you, you're looking so beautiful today. Right. I love the way your cathedral shines in the sun in the sunlight. It looks lovely. <laughs> I can't even do a good voice of Grimaldus. It doesn't do that man justice. He's right. got he's got the right amount of grit and piss and vinegar in it. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. I somebody's gonna now somebody's gonna take that and run with it. There's gonna be a parody done to that. You see him with his skull mask. It's got like a he's biting a rose. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We're gonna get fucking canceled, bro. <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. Probably. No, uh, but this is canceled for the right reason. It, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can live with that. Don't talk shit about forty K, bro. Yep. <laughs> Come to your house and pick a, stick a chainsaw fucking axe up your butthole. Uh, <laughs> oh man, no, this is gonna be great. I've been looking forward to this. It's been a couple of weeks since we've reacted. And, yeah, we've been. I mean, Ruby took over everything. Just getting through Volume Seven. Yeah. So. Yep. Um. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking. Uh, not only does this one feel like it's taken forever to get back to, like, man, it's been forever since we reacted to it. It's uh. The Emperor TTS series, man, it feels like it's been two months oh since God, we watched yeah. one of those. Uh, but so, we got, well, I mean, we were caught up. I mean, not caught yeah. up, but we, you know, we're working through, at least everybody's getting an episode a week. Right, right, right. Know? So now that we got Ruby kind of taken care of, we can start getting, uh, working on Hell's Reach and uh, other 40 kill reactions, TTS series, Major Kill. Right. Uh, start getting those over on Patreon, too. Yeah, there was a couple of suggestions that were thrown out there. I think I screenshotted one. We'll yes. see about it. Yeah, we've got some other Warhammer stuff to react to. So uh, keep an eye out on, on, for that. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe while you're here. Just Pretty go please. Click that button. Uh, it's just a little click. That's all it is. Just um, a little click. <laughs> uh, also, like and comment. Let us know what you thought about the video, what you thought about the reaction. Um, head over to patreon.com slash rhcrew. Subscribe there for bonus content. Yeah, bonus. And as I said just a second ago, early access. $5 gets you one week early access. Ten dollars gets you two weeks early access, and uh, all these series should be up to the two week early access mark pretty soon. So yep. go check that out. It's gonna be awesome. All right, let's get to it. Last time we were hearing an awesome speech. That's right. Grimaldus was quite offended by the size of the orc army. He was. He's gonna die on this planet, though. Yes. Didn't he always say that shit? <laughs> Whatever we. Whenever I bring up the uh, the playlist to go back to it, that's the first episode, and that's like the first line. Uh, is this an animation change? Oh, that's fucking badass. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm digging this. That's a very cool shot. Oh, what happened? Those are artillery shells. Why is it everything going on? I have on? always believed there is something beautiful in the very first moments of a battle. Here are the moments of highest emotion. The fear of mortal men. The frustrated bloodlust and screaming overconfidence of mankind's enemies. In the moments when a battle is joined, the purity of the human species is first revealed to the foe. Or they could have been signal flares, I don't know. Fire! Now that's artillery. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these are real sounds. Yeah. I like oh, that. Not damn. even blinking. Not even blinking. Just straight up clap. Oh, 
Man down. Now nah, stay focused. Jetpack. Yep. I love it. He's going to be the first to die. He's like, I made it. They should have been right on top of him. I was kind of wondering why they weren't. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Flying, flying ogres. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are the Astartes at? Saving their energy. We just saw them like kind of gathered down on the ground. Man, what a battle. Yeah. There we go. You asked for the Astartes? You get the Astartes. <laughs> oh. In the face. Oh shit, bye Ogre. He's like, raw or pat. <laughs> I love it. You even got the corpsman in there swinging a fucking chainsaw sword. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love it. Look at that shit. Get off my wall. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how will this turn around and go terribly? It always does. It's, <laughs> for, it's 40K, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, yay, we did great. Well, this is just the first part, I'm sure. <laughs> this was just, these were just the scouts. Right. Do him a favor. <laughs> they're, talk they're talking to each other through their box. Yeah, like that one ain't going to live. <laughs> Do him a favor. Come on, man. Don't let him suffer. going through his head right now. Hmm. Good question. His music's on point. Yeah, it's cool. Real ominous. He's a good death. We're getting more and more color throughout the episode. That yeah. Is a bleak picture. The real battle begins tomorrow. He says that's a bleak picture. At yeah. Least we will not be bored. I believe they will wait. They will wait until they have overwhelming force with which to crush us. And they will strike like a hammer. I requested we withdraw all guard forces from the wasteland installations across all of Southern Armageddon Secundus. The Colonel agreed in principle. Well, what's worth guarding out there? Munitions. A great deal of munitions. 
to be used when the Hive cities fall and need to be reclaimed. But that is not all. The Desert Vultures spoke of a curious legend, something buried beneath the sands. A weapon. Oh, oh okay. Man. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think it, get, it could get any better. I know, and it does it, every time. God dang, man. That was <laughs> so good. Hell of a battle. Yeah. Cool. I dig it, man. Yeah, it, was a, it felt like a lot for an eight-minute video, didn't it? It really did. I was, uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. Suck the fuck in, man. God. Uh, their sound effects were amazing. When are they going to do a movie, man? <laughs> I don't know. Like, this needs to happen. Like a three-hour movie or something. <laughs> it really does. It needs to be like a three-hour movie, like a movie trilogy, three hours a piece, like all Lord of the Rings style. Fuck yeah. Just get a bunch of... Man, they should do like the Horus Heresy. Oh, that would be so awesome. That would awesome. be fucking sweet, wouldn't that it? That would be awesome. But that would have to be like a six-part series or something, man. I don't know, because there's a lot of shit that had, had happened in between all that. It's amazing. What, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'd just be. i fucking be okay. I'd <laughs> right. be okay with a two-hour movie, honestly. It's, just it, anything. It's amazing what you can cut out of books to, like, condense down into a story for, like, a movie format and still get the principle of what's going on. Like, still understand what's going on in principle, I should say. Yeah, like the Harry Potters. <laughs> right. I mean, you could do a better job than that. But. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do the worst job. Uh, okay, the second worst job, or maybe the first worst job, Twilight. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, I, We're going to get Twilight hate on this. Though. I've heard, I've. my wife has read to me part of those books. Uh, uh -huh. I think the movie held pretty true to the quality. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's funny. But no, I mean, because you, you – your mind kind of fills in the gaps along the way about what you, you kind of understand what's happening in context. Okay. Cause you don't have to build, I'll, you don't I'll, have to spend so many words or so much time building a world. Cause there's so much more you can see. I suppose you're right. Anytime. Like I think about the star Wars, the books, right? Like there's, there's, there's a gigantic world there and, but you're able to make a couple of movies and, and we get it. Right. I mean, hell one movie could stand alone by itself, honestly. But. Yeah. I mean, you can condense down a. I mean, once you start cutting things out, like uh, Jar Jar Binks, like if well, you like, cut him out, that would Han great. looked at Leia longingly and yeah. thought to himself, once you cut, start cutting that stuff out, and you kind of get it more in like through context clues by like the way the character looked at the character. Right, they spent one second instead of thirty seconds explaining it, where he goes, <laughs> right. I don't know if that's longingly. I don't know. That's <laughs> that's like. Bitch, you got five dollars. Maybe that's that look. I don't, <laughs> right. know, I don't know what kind of look that is. <laughs> we're I'm trying sorry, to, We're trying to do the Kessel Run, and I need some fuel. That's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, something like that. But yeah, it would be cool. We're getting way off fucking topic here. Yeah, sorry, um, guys. So we're really sorry. We are. I would like to see like a, a full blown 40k movie though. That'd be the shit. Yeah. I'd be down for that. All right, everybody. Thank you once again for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Head over to patreon.com slash Crew. Subscribe there for bonus content and early access, and we'll see you next time.